One of the more awesome things to come along for general aviation in recent years is the GTN 750 from Garmin. Not only does it have the ability to control all the avionics, it also displays um, beautiful color maps, moving map display, and also provides charts. And best of all, it's all touch control. Fortunately for us X-Plane users, there's a version of this available from Reality XP, which is based on the Garmin GTN Trainer, which is very high fidelity and includes the databases that are needed to make it work just like in the real airplane. In a recent video I showed how I incorporated this unit into an Air Manager 2D panel for use with my simulator. It offers great uh, navigation capabilities, very realistic and easy to use just by tapping with your finger. It's very intuitive and the simulation when used on a touch screen computer is just awesome. Very realistic, easy to use, and uh, as I said earlier, very, very high fidelity. Great for training. Recently I've been getting into uh, virtual reality a lot more using my Oculus Rift, and I thought how great it would be to be able to use this unit in virtual reality. Well, recently on YouTube I saw a guy who was using the GTN trainer uh, with the virtual reality in X-Plane 11 and uh, I really wanted to figure it out. It was awesome. He was able to use the controller to manipulate uh, the screen uh, just like touch and, and uh, A. Silas V Flights if you want to give him a couple likes and subscribes to thank him for helping me out. He spent time with me messaging back and forth trying to help me figure out why I was having difficulty getting to work, getting it to work. As it turns out I just didn't have an updated version of the Reality XP software but what I'd like to do is show you a little bit about how how to set this up because his video is pretty much without narration it just shows you the end result and I thought others might be interested so after you install the software plugin into your simulator you need to turn it on so go to the air to the virtual cockpit and select menu and go down to plugins and then down to the GTN and you see the GTN 1 select the 750 and when you select that I'm gonna go back and open it just to show you what what it's done here we'll go back down to plugins and uh, reality XP GTN 1 and you'll see it it's uh, shows that it's the GTN 1 is installed uh, and it's the master device so the other thing uh, that you can do to make things easier is to also set up a button on your joystick to enable you to uh, uh, hide and show that window. It'll it'll pop it uh, out now, not pop it up. I should say it's still in the uh, in the window, and uh, find the button you want to put it on, and then you can see the uh, the uh, data ref that or the X command that's built in. But uh, you can also search for that to find it, and you want to the uh, to show the visibility, toggle visibility, and uh, apply that. And when you press the button on your joystick, you can see the the uh, Garmin shows up. You can grab the top with uh, with uh, your mouse, your uh, controller, I should say. Uh, you can adjust the uh, sides. To unfortunately, you can't size it and maintain the aspect ratio, uh, but you can resize it and get it about right so it'll look just fine and then you can grab the top and move it around and put it wherever you want it. Once you've got the location you want it, you can use a controller to press all the buttons. Uh, you can uh, navigate uh, scrolling with the uh, thumb uh, joystick in and out. You can zoom in and out. You can take the uh, change the frequencies of the radio. You can see you can do all that with uh, just by uh, using the controller and uh, you can also uh, change the transponder code and uh, run the audio there's so many things that you can do it's uh, just an awesome unit and very very useful especially good with hand controllers you can also move the map around you can uh, do pretty much anything you want to do with the controllers it works perfectly it's just the most logical way to navigate in virtual reality so I'm a big believer in this. I think it's a great unit. I think uh, 
the ability to zoom in and move around on the map uh, to uh, display approach charts. Uh, it, it just uh, it's just a wonderful way to uh, to navigate. And the buttons, of course, work too. There's the home button. So anyway, uh, I would give this a strong recommendation for those who are into VR flying. Uh, you can't mount it into the panel easily yet, uh, and if you do, it won't respond to controller inputs. So the best way to run it is what you see here, and actually, I think it would be hard to see it. I know with the G1000s, I have to lean over close to see them to make a, to be able to use them. So uh, enjoy uh, flying with the GTN 750 from Reality XP. I strongly recommend it for your home simulator if you're into VR. Thanks a lot. Like and subscribe if you would like to. Hope to see you again on another video I'll be making soon.